Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Dr. Laszlo Pados, who is the consultant to the Deputy General Director of the National Media and Info Communications Authority of Hungary. Dr. Pados, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. It's a great honor for me to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by perhaps talking a little bit about Hungary. I know Hungary has been a member of uh, ITU for many years now. Yes, uh, Hungary is one of the fund funder of uh, ITU. So first of all, this telegraphic union will take part of our work. Hungary is the middle of Europe. This is uh, uh, small country with 10 million inhabitants. In spite of them, we've got seven neighbor countries and we should make uh, coordination with 10 countries. It means for us it's very important to take part in the work, uh, in the work of ITU and make successful coordination with all of the neighbor countries. Why is this event particularly important for the globe? Globally, it's a very important uh, event because uh, in this way we've got uh, uh, opportunity to introduce new services. For example, for the world, uh, for the world it's very important for in terms of 5G technology, so it means uh, one third, uh, the agenda and uh, 113 uh, IM to 2020 is a very important topic for all of the countries. I think in this way we go to the future and some people feel, speak about it, that it will be a new revolution, a technical revolution for the world and we will introduce a lot of new services, even today we don't know which services will be in the future. Now I know you've been involved in telecommunications for quite some time now. How has the landscape changed? Let's talk about the landscape in Hungary. How, how has it changed there? Uh, you know, the, uh, Hungary is a member of uh, CPT. It means if there will, will be a new in, the introduction of new technology, Hungary should join to the to the new technology. It means we introduce the digital TV in time, so, and we just now got seven layers, countryside, and we got a, a lot of local TV station with dub DVBT technology. And has the mobile phone really revolutionized communications for you? Yes, this is working, and uh, the coverage is almost uh, 98 percent in Hungary, so almost all the country is covered by the new technology and with 4G technology. In Hungary there are uh, three big mobile operators and they are working very good in Hungary, so the inhabitants are very satisfied with the result of coverage. And uh, t tell us a little bit about the work of the ITU study groups. How important is the work of the ITU study groups to industry and also uh, to regulators and in information and telecommunications authorities? Uh, you know, uh, one side of uh, I to give opportunity to, to introduce new services. So every four years we make a new uh, frequency allotment table and in, in, uh, in accordance with uh, new allotment tables, the industry have got uh, opportunity to introduce the new services. So in this way it's a very important event, the ITU radio communication conference. You mentioned uh, the future. I wanted to ask you, you've seen a number of changes I'm sure in, in your lifetime in telecommunications. Are you optimistic for the, for the future? Are you uh, looking forward to all sorts of uh, interesting things happening? Uh, it's a very, very interesting and very good question. So uh, I think in the future there will be some new uh, services and even we don't know today which new services will be. You know, the future is open, maybe in health through insurance, maybe in agriculture, and maybe there will be new cars and new technology for the cars, autonomous cars, but nobody knows in which temp it will be. Uh, some people thought that within five years there will, will be this revolution finished. My opinion is not necessary 10 years and maybe more. 
to introduce everything. I took part in a Huawei meeting in Hungary then when they introduced a new technology, new transmitters and new MIMO antennas. And, ask, and I asked them how they would like to introduce this new technology. And the answer was very interesting. We don't know. But, sir, you should know that in uh, some years ago, there was one way for the cars. After them, two ways, and after them, highways, and see it in the in, uh, United States. There are six ways for highway, and it's, it's full of cars. What does it mean? It means we start to introduce in uh, different frequencies of new services, and within some years, this frequency band is full of these new services. This is, was a very interesting opinion, and I would like to follow it, and I accept this opinion. Well, thank you so much for being with us in the studio and sharing these wonderful insights with us, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in, in the future. Yes, of course. Thank, thank you very you. much.